Luke Robinson here again, lucky enough to catch Hunter Brandon right before he walks into the locker room to get ready for the big game today. Hunter, how are you? Great. I mean, I'm excited. I'm thrilled to be you know, representing the high school in, America, I mean, in uh, Alabama. So, I mean, I'm pretty pumped for sure. Hunter, your recruitment has been one of the more interesting this year. Um, I'm a recruiting guy, and I, I, when you get committed to Alabama, I didn't know much about it. But I heard so many great things about you in camp at Auburn and at Alabama. And how's it been to, to blow up like this lately? I mean, it's good. You know, it's a blessing. Uh, you know, I've had fun going to all them camps, you know, doing the recruiting uh, circle in the summer. But, I mean, yeah, it's been a real blessing uh, from God, actually. You know, uh, you know, without him, you know, I wouldn't have a single offer. But, I mean, it's been fun, you know. But, you know, as I said, I'm committed, and, you know, it's uh, kind of winding down. And are you going to be an early enrollee? Yes, that's the plan. You know, that's the plan going down in January. But if they want me in January or June, you know, whenever they call me, I'll be ready. Who has impressed you on the defensive line? I've also got one of the kids I've already interviewed has complimented you, Neil Farrell. Oh, yeah. And uh, he, he said that you were really tough to go up against. Oh, yeah. Neil, Neil's incredible. You know, he's going to be great at LSU. You know, he's a, you know, iron sharpens iron. And, you know, he's a, he's he's going to be really good in college. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about his future. But, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great player. And, you know, all the defensive line, I mean, you know, top notch in Alabama. You know, it's great going against, uh, up against the uh, best of the best in Alabama. And finally, if you could take somebody that's not already committed to Alabama with you to Tuscaloosa uh, and to be on the roster there next year, who would it be? Uh, LeBron Ray or, you know, KJ Britt, you know, basically, you know, try to get these, uh, try to get the best class as possible. All right. Sure. All right, buddy. Well, good luck to you today, okay? I've got Nico Collins with me now, the fabulous wide receiver from Clay Chalk. Well, Nico, Nico, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. You know, I woke up, you know, game day, you know, game ready. Yeah. It is game day, and listen, I had to notice you've got uh, a, an Alabama towel on you today. Does that mean anything? Nah, not really. It's just, you know, we're Alabama. We're from the state. Yeah, so, you know, it kind of showed me love a little bit. So I just came out here with the Alabama stuff. What have you thought about practice so far, and who's been the toughest defensive back for you to go up against? Um, you know, my whole team, you know, all the defensive backs here was pretty good. You know, they, they're here for a reason. You know, they all stars. So, you know, just coming out here, you know, Monday through Friday, competing with each other, you know, it's really been a lot. You've caught passes from Ty Pigram last year, and he has gone to Maryland and done really, really well. Are you still keeping up with him? Yeah, always. Yeah, he always t um, hit me up on Twitter, and he always um, just called me, you know, test my phone, ask me how I'm doing, you know, come up there and come visit sometime. And T.J. Simmons at Alabama, I guess you're keeping up with him as well? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, he always. What are your plans for early enrollment, or are you going to go in the fall? I'm going to go in the fall. And you still got Alabama, Michigan, and who else is on your list? Florida State, LSU. When do you plan? When do you plan on making a decision? Oh, uh, February. Maybe. At, are you going to be going to the Army All American or Under Armour All American games? I'm just planning this one. Okay, that's great. With Neil Farrell now, the fabulous defensive tackle out of the Mobile area. Neil, how you doing? I'm doing good. You are committed to LSU right now. Do you plan on sticking with that commitment? For right now, solid. For right now. For right now, you're very solid. You like Ed Orgeron? Yeah, he's a great coach. Good personality, hostile coach. He's a great coach. How has playing in Mobile high school football prepared you for the SEC? It's really very well because we're in the highest, highest region of it all, so it's the best of the best in 7 A football. Which offensive lineman in practice this week has been the toughest for you to get around? The center. I think it's Hunter Brand. He committed to Alabama. He's a really good hurt. And uh, Kendall Randolph also, is. have you gone up against him any? No, he played talk. I've been at nose guard. You've been at nose guard. Okay, that's all you know about it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right, Neil, listen, you have a great day today. Looking forward to calling your name, okay? I uh, appreciate it. Talking with T.D. Moultrie here at Crampton Bowl, getting ready for the HSA's Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Game. T.D., how are you today? Feel good. Um, we had a good week of practice, so I think we all play how we did in practice. Field school, fast. We'll come out with the W. Couldn't ask for a prettier day today, huh? It look good right now. It look good. Family, friends, anybody who come out, these damn feel comfortable. TD, you committed to Auburn very early on in the process. Have people still been recruiting you, and are you very solid with that commitment? Nobody has been crew me. I, I shut it down. Soon I committed, I told everybody I shut it down. And I wasn't, I told my coaches that I wasn't going on officials. But if I was going to take officials, I was going to take someone that's real far from my family can experience. And, T.D., you um, have been at practice all week, obviously. Is there anybody on the offensive side that has really impressed you this week? Um, our running back, our three of our running backs, um, Noah, our commit, Rob, uh, Rob Siever, um, 
our quarterbacks, and I um I tackle number seven seven. Okay, and you were initially I think you weren't going to play in this game, and then you decided uh, to when somebody else dropped out that you thought you know what you need to represent your state, right? Right, right, right. So I had to represent my state, so um, I was going to get my body prepared for the January game, but I just can't turn down playing for my state and playing for my city and my family. And who do you compare your game most to that's playing either collegiately or in the NFL right now? Mosley, Hightower, Ruben, um, a lot of people. Yeah, I think most people compare you to Ruben Foster, and, and he played in this game, and uh, he's done really well. So if you can be as good as him, that'd be fantastic. TD, thanks so much, and good luck to you today. Thank you. We've got Jordan Peters here, the Auburn commitment. Jordan, how are you today? Good, doing very, very good. How's practice been this week? Uh, it's been terrific being out there playing with those guys. It's a whole other level of play out there. I ask this of everybody because I think the best perspective comes from the other players, but who has really impressed you on your team this week? Uh... All of them all around, really, like uh, a couple of underrated guys like uh, Zion from JDE and uh, Marcus from uh, Enterprise. They they really know how to play, and just to know that they don't have really big-time offers is sort of mind-boggling to me because they can really play out there. You guys do take a lot of pride in this game, right? This isn't just about individual coming out here and showing out. Alabama and Mississippi take this very seriously. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, uh, it's our state. We got to show them who's the best in uh, football and uh so just show them it's our state. We gotta uh, own it. And you know they won last year, right? Yes, sir, we gotta come back and uh, show them who the real boss is. They got lucky last year. <laughs> have you uh, have you guys heard the name Cam Akers a lot this week? Yes, sir. Most definitely, we've heard it. Uh, especially since he moved up to uh, number one, I believe. Is that correct? He moved up to the number one back in the country. So you know, we're really taking it as a challenge. We just want to see. We want to play against the number one back in the country. See what he's about. Let me ask you about Terrence Dunlap, the running back you guys have on your uh, roster from Maplesville. It's one A school, the only one A player here at the Alabama All Star team. How, how has he done this week? Uh, he's done terrific. You can you wouldn't even be able to tell he's from a one A school. I mean, uh, he works just as hard as us, and uh, he fits in just as well, and he knows how to play the game. Are you looking forward to going to Auburn, and will you be an early enrollee? Uh, I am looking forward to it, but uh, no, I'll uh, finish out my senior year of high school. All right, buddy. Well, good luck to you today. Looking forward to seeing you.